After the first video of reviewing your model airports, I got so many more responses and people sending in their model airports. That means we are going to continue working down the list and reviewing your model airports. If you would like your model airport to be covered in one of the videos, be sure to fill in the Google form down below in the description. Let's move over to the first airport. The first airport that I would like to show you all is Ender Beam International Airport. This is a fictional airport which he built himself. He has expansion plans and I think a lot of construction still needs to be done to the airport. But I want to show you this cool feature because he has these jet bridges folded out of paper that actually work. He included this video in which he demonstrates how the jet bridges can actually extend and retract from the aircraft, which I think is a really cool feature. And it's a really cost effective way to add some awesome jet bridges to your airport. Furthermore, I'm very curious how the terminal in the end is going to look like, because for now, I think it's only just a few wooden planks stacked on top of each other. But you can do a lot of awesome stuff with it. So I'm really looking forward to the future of your airport. And I'm sure it's going to look very good. The next airport I would like to show you is Empire City Airport. This is once again a fictional airport based in a New York City airport. Which he has obviously built himself. The airport is made out of cardboard. I think it's just a bunch of old boxes and pieces of cardboard. Which he reused to make his airport from. Which I really like. Not only does he have a runway, taxiways. But he has also created an entire terminal out of cardboard including an air traffic control tower and jet bridges. Even though the looks aren't as detailed, I think these cardboard jet bridges look absolutely fine as they serve the job of looking like a jet bridge and the same goes for the air traffic control tower. What I believe you can improve or add to your airport is some color. For now you only have the markings on the ground but I hope in the future that you will add some color to both your terminal, the air traffic control tower and you could consider to add a row of grass here. A roll of modeling grass really doesn't cost a lot and it adds a lot more realism to your airport. So for anyone wanting to fill in the space between the runway and the taxiway, I think a row of modeling grass would serve very good. The next airport is Austin Bergstrom International Airport. This is a fictional airport in Austin Bergstrom. I hope I pronounce it well. The terminal I think is from Gemini Jets and he purchased it and the rest of the airport he has made himself DIY. I think your airport looks absolutely wonderful and it's quite finished as all the ground markings have been added, all the concrete tiles have been added and he even made the outlines of the taxiway lines. Talking about detail, I think he has also got some names or advertisements on the jet bridges. On the other side of this airport he has got a smaller terminal with an air traffic control tower. I think this is cargo as I can see a FedEx logo here. You could consider adding a bit more color or texture to this terminal. And he's also got a runway installed on his airport with lighting using a LED strip. We have already seen LED strip lighting in the previous video and I think it's a really easy and convenient way to install lighting on your model airport. You just simply stick down the LED strip and you're done. And the effect it gives, especially at night, is really good. The next airport I'm going to discuss is CGGL Fantasy Airport, a DOI self birth airport. And the first thing which I notice is this terminal. You might not recognize this terminal, but this is the terminal I designed, 3D printed and used for my own model airport, about which I made a full explanation guide on my YouTube channel. I really love to see how you have implemented the terminal on your own airport. I think it looks very good. Furthermore, he has got a lot of modeling grass on his airport. I just described how in the previous airport it was looking kind of empty between the runway and the airport apron. Here as you can see all the blank space has been filled up using modeling grass which really adds an extra sense of realism to the airport. So a big plus for that. The airport is still in construction as on the ground the airport markings have been added but they still don't need to be painted. In the meantime he is already busy with a second table which is going to be an expansion of his current model airport. So I'm really curious to see how CGGL airport is going to look when it's finished. Let's move on to the next airport. The next airport is a recreation of London Heathrow Airport in England. It's self-built and when we look a bit closer I love to see the passengers actually boarding the airplane. I haven't seen many model airports which actually have passengers because they are so small especially in the 1 to 400 and 1 to 500 skills. He put the passengers I think on a bit of clay which keeps them upright and I think it looks really good. Next I would like to talk about this FedEx plane in the background because he has actually created several aircraft from ice cream sticks. 
I love the creativity behind this. Here we can see a few ATR aircraft made completely out of ice cream sticks. I think they look absolutely great. And once again, really creative. I am really curious to know how you have added the landing gear. He's also got this tiny flight school with a private jet in front of it. I'm not sure how he created it, but this I would also really like to know. As private jets and tiny aircraft are simply not available to buy in the 1 to 400 and 1 to 500 skills. So therefore you have to come up with your own way of creating them. So that's London Heathrow International Airport. Let's move on to the final airport that we're going to discuss this episode. The final airport we will be discussing in this video is Barcelona Palamos International Airport. It's located near Barcelona in Spain in a small place called Palamos and it's DIY self-built. It has got two runways over 50 gates and it serves as a base for both Iberia and Welling. He started building this airport in 2020 so he's already four years on his way and the airport really doesn't seem to end because he has got more and more pictures of new parts. It is good to know that he doesn't leave his airplanes near the window for a long amount of time because if you did not know yet the sun's UV light can actually damage the paint of the model. So therefore you should keep your airplane models out of the sun. He once again has a LED strip installed on his runway which adds an awesome lighting effect and for the rest he has made most of his buildings out of paper. Some tips and advice for you. You might want to consider changing these markings which you have now done using tape and make them using the paint marker which you have already used on all the other places on your airport. Furthermore, you can change these green pieces of paper and replace them by modeling grass, which I've already shown. His airport consists of two airlines which either don't exist or are fictional. These two planes you can see here and here are fly playa planes. I think he has created these planes himself using paper. And on the left side of the screen you can see Air Holland which he has revived and brought back into the skies. Overall I really like the variety of airplane models that you have on your airport. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the end result of this airport once it is completed and finished. So that is it for this episode. Today we have discussed six more airports. But there are a bunch of airports still on the waiting list to be reviewed. If you'd like to send in your airport to be reviewed and covered on this channel. Make sure to fill in the Google form down below in the description. I am really looking forward to seeing all of your airports and model aircraft collections. I would really appreciate it if you consider to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching and see you again in another video.